My name is Ravi Rakbir, R-A-G-B-I-R. I'm the executive director of the New Sanctuary Coalition, which is an organization that believes no one should be deported. So January 11th is when I had to, re I reported in to a regular check-in um, to a to an ICE officer. I've been doing this for since 2008, and in the past, Prior to 2018, I've had stays of removal, so the agency will always give um, um, allow me to, to stay here. We were really surprised when uh, we had a meeting with the assistant uh, field office director, Scott Miskowski, on the on the instructions from his director, um, Thomas Decker, to, to we had a meeting with them, and in that meeting they said they were going to deport me. My attorney who was with me and my wife who was with me, um, they both tried to talk to them and say, give us, you know, we give us, don't do this because we have legal, um, we had legal options. We were still continuing to, to keep, to fight in the course to keep me here. Uh, during that time, I did faint, but, you know, people have said, well, if you fainted, um, they, they had a right to call the ambulance. Well, if that was a problem, um, why would, did they shackle me? Why, did they, uh, why was I walking towards the ambulance in shackles? I was arrested, put in an um, ambulance, um, taken to the airport, flown to Florida, and the following day, this is January 11th, following day on January 12th, they were going to put me in a plane um, to Trinidad and Tobago, where is, which is where I'm from. Immediately, my lawyers filed documents, uh, motions in the court, and the court said not to deport me. What was really, um, uh, really mind blowing is even with this instructions from the court, they wanted to deport me. They put me in a vehicle to take me to the airport. In fact, there were many times officers were talking among themselves, we're going to ignore this, we're going to get instructions from DC to override this. They tried to deport me, um, but they, they turned around and I was back in um, New York on January 18th. The fact that they targeted me because of, uh, the, of the, the outspokenness, um, the fact that I speak on protest, <clears throat> the fact that I, I share my thoughts about the agency and the way they treat people and the detention and the, the policy itself being so um, horrendous, that it is a matter of freedom of speech. If, if I wasn't speaking up, um, who knows what would have happened, but the fact is they don't like, the f they don't like that I'm speaking about them as an agency, uh, them as a policy, but also as the officers themselves who are implementing this uh, horrific um, um, strategy. So it is frightening to know that there is a federal agency that is targeting you. Um, but it's not going to chill uh, or stop me from speaking up. In fact, um, we have to speak out more because um, if we are going to be silenced like this, it is a slippery slope to, to fascism. There were two cases, one in New Jersey, which is the challenge to the criminal conviction, and the one in New York, which is the First Amendment freedom of speech um, case. The one in New, New York, um, which is the First Amendment case where we filed to, um, about my f f uh, freedom of speech, um, there is a, an appeal to the stay, which is the stay itself. So while they look at the case on overall, um, the, there is a stay pending until they make a decision. That is allowing me to stay here. Even as there is a case in the um, New Jersey court that challenges the criminal conviction, um, the reason why I'm being deported because I have a pre prior criminal conviction, even as we challenge that, um, ICE and this administration still wants to deport you during that process. So it's a violation of my due process, my rights, but it's not just about me, it's many others, and it's not just about immigrants, but so people of color, because they're trying to take uh, civil rights away from um, the, the, the impacted people of color community. The hope is the humanity we have with each other. The hope is the, um, the space that we will create a safe place for people to live in dignity, whether you were born here or not.